Everybody pay attention to this. When the ball is coming to you on serve receive, we all do this at times, but we all also, I've watched all of you, even Molly, slack on this. When the ball is coming to us on serve receive, number one thing is we want to get our feet to the ball. Okay, let's go. Here Friday and Saturday, and there were some really good athletes. They were just not very trained. They just hadn't been training that much. Even though they're in college, I can tell that all of you have trained probably 10 times more than they have in the last year. And they're on, they're on college scholarships. Some of them are on a full ride. And at McKendry, a full ride is $46,000 a year. That's a lot of them. Who here out of you guys works a job and makes 50000 a year? None of you juniors make that much money. Really? Those girls are on scholarship for $50,000 a year. That's not including food that they're getting, jerseys and stuff. Over five years, that's a quarter million dollars. That's basically the average pay for an American adult. Pretty good playing beach volleyball, right? Especially if only doing it four months out of the year. Focusing today is we want to really focus on our serve receives on three things. Everybody pay attention to this. When the ball is coming to you on serve receive, we all do this at times, but we all also, I've watched all of you, even Molly, slack on this. When the ball is coming to us on serve receive, number one thing is we want to get our feet to the ball. We want to have our feet in the right position. Rayleigh, go ahead, I'm gonna throw the ball to you and be really wide, wider with your feet. She's really wide, she's starting out with the ball. Now I'm just gonna, it's a little bit harder for her to move. Now go with your feet really skinny, right here. When she's there, and I'm gonna throw it to her over here, her feet are underneath her and they're underneath her hips and she doesn't have that, the platform wasn't as good. If we watch that in slow motion, she had to change her hips a little bit more. Now go to just your neutral stance. She's athletic right there, she can move. Now, here's the big thing. If the ball is over here, Rayleigh's gonna get her feet to the ball. And she did that perfectly. When she moved her feet to the ball, where were her shoulders squared to? Anybody, was anybody paying attention? I was. Of course she was. Let's do it again. The ball is over there. She let that one go a little bit. Here's the focus. Lily, I'm gonna throw you one. When, number one, footwork. Number two is, we want to have, when that ball is coming on serve receive Molly, we want to have our shoulders square to the net. One time when I threw it over here, your shoulders dipped back and now your shoulders were square over there. The first time you did it right, but the second time you were just coming. We want to move our feet to the ball and keep our shoulders square to the net and then work on our ankle. Does everybody understand that? So, so many of us, I've watched this weekend with the colleges, the girls' footwork, some of them were okay, nobody was as great. And then, instead of getting an angle, they were, they were trying to square their shoulders to the ball too much. Now me saying that, how many of you guys have done that? I do it consistently, I'm a bad passer. But here's the thing is, when that ball on serve receive is coming across, we wanna keep our shoulders square to the net and angle our platform. Because when our shoulders start getting pointed out of bounds or away from the court, that's when all kinds of problems start. Let's look at Lily. Did everybody see what she did? Where are her shoulders? Casey? Pointed over there. Right. What we wanted to do more is you should have dropped that back step, kept your shoulders square to the net, and then angled your platform. When we're passing today and serve receive, think about your footwork getting your feet to the ball. And here's the thing I noticed a lot, Reagan, is when we get fatigued and tired, our footwork starts going down and we start reaching for the ball. And if our feet don't get to the ball, then our passing goes away really quick. Doesn't it? Isn't that true? Today, when we go through our serves and then we're playing and we're going through our defense, think first, get your feet to the ball and then get your feet in the right position. Younger players, too many times we're going up to the ball like we were showing with Rayleigh and your feet will be like this or they'll be like really wide and then you're all immobile in your hips and your shoulders. Colson, where, where's a, everybody show me an athletic stance. Good, Eliza, you see you're a little bit too narrow, a little bit more. Good, good. Number one, 
with your feet to the ball and your foot away. Then think, squaring your shoulders to the net. If you get your feet work and your footwork in the right position, it's, it's a lot easier to get your shoulders square than if you're late to the ball or your feet are narrow and then you're trying to do this with the ball. Does that make sense? And then what's the last thing? Lily? What is it? Platform angle, exactly right. We wanna keep that shoulder square to the net and then angle our platform according to where we wanna pass the ball. Does everybody understand that? Good. Go through our touches, sets, passes, throws, and hits. And then we're gonna jump on, get your partner, serve, receive. We're gonna start the clock as soon as we're done with, with our warm up. Does anybody have any questions? Let's bring it in. Let's get the, the warm up done in 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes on the clock. Go ahead. Do you want three? One, one two, two, three, ten. ten.